drip, splash. I need a mop on this damn stage. Whip, lash. I'm bending these blocks and the thing change. Get cash. Forever it's never enough, but I save change. Big, fast. I'm leveling up, you the same lane. Drip, splash. On the subscribers recommended channel. Um, today, this is going to be a good one, actually. Um, as some of y'all may know, there is a, there's two diss tracks, and I was, t Ice Plano made, um, two diss tracks, and I'm assuming they're 100% about me, so we're gonna react to them, uh, his home, one of his homies told me that there was a seven minute diss track. And it's right here. It's called I Hate Plano by Ice Plano. So I was dissed in this one. And then there's another one called Pull Up Some. All of this started from this clip. Let me, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pull it up because I have it in another um thing right here. So, y'all may not be able to hear it. I don't know why my face is covered. So, my face is covered because I don't have OBS. I have um bandy cam. So, I would mess up the video if I was to try to move my camera over to the side. I would have to go back in bandy cam and set it up. That way it's on the side of the screen. But, this video right here even though I'm covering it, you'll hear me say, and, and what I said in this little bitty clip is in one of the diss tracks that we're going to listen to. So I'm going to go ahead and play it for y'all. He only said a few words, but he was harmonizing some of the song. He was actually saying words, but I don't know, man. Because I don't like being mean. But I got to be honest, when I hear, like, the comment said I have a new flow. When I hear the word flow, I think of, like, like Eminem type flow, Joyner Lucas, J. Cole. This here, I wouldn't, I would say that he was saying some words and then harmonizing and then you didn't hear anything for like a few seconds, but. I get the overall message in this. Although the clip ended at like song, some at like um, it was from six fifty two to seven oh nine or something like that. He clipped it and put it in one of the um, in one of the diss tracks. Now, I re-listened to this right before I came on, and. The way I worded that might have been crazy. I will admit to that. That was a bit crazy. But I even said it in the comment section of, um, I might have to post it here so y'all can see it. Sometimes I say things that will confuse the hell out of people. Yeah, uh, I, I started realizing that. I'm starting to notice that a lot more now. So especially on here but going back and listening to this it's not that he wasn't saying any words he was clearly saying words on the track like he was not mumbling at all you can hear words but the second time i said it i said he said a few words okay he did but <clears throat> When I in the whole thing about me, because I again I read the comment and said he had a new flow. Actually, when I heard it, when I heard it back, it was like he um one he was off beat. And matter of fact, while we're here, let's just go ahead and play a little piece of him being off beat. Like he was he was saying words, but the words he was saying. Like he was saying it and it was a little off beat. I I'll show you what I mean. Yeah, I 
We're just, we just talk and in innocent. At least he didn't block me like a leader did. Um, and it's all my fault. Yeah, it's all my fault. I already know that you're gonna be the only person that, that let me stop being depressed. I feel like if we date, you'll be the one. My ex was the worst, worst girl I ever had. She, she cheated on me many, many times with three guys. Now, <clears throat> He was clearly saying words. I wasn't saying that he wasn't saying words as in he was mumbling. But one, he was off beat. Two, when I when I'm saying when I the second time I said it, he only said a few words. You you can hear him saying words, yes. But when I when I was saying he wasn't saying any words, here's what I should have said. When I think when I like like, he wasn't going, like, if you was to give this beat to, like, MGK or J. Cole, they would have lines throughout the whole song. And even if they were harmonizing, it would still be on beat. That's what I should have said instead of saying what I said. But it came out crazy. I'll take accountability for that. But it wasn't to say that he was mumbling or anything like that. You can clearly hear him saying words. But when I said he didn't have any words, one, he was off beat. Then he took a pause. I don't know if the if the audio at some times was like down or whatever. Cause, so, so basically what I'm saying is it's like. When I hear, like, when I say he didn't have words, I'm thinking of MGK's, um, no popping, I mean, what's popping, no popping. MGK's what's popping freestyle, he had lines throughout the whole, like, you just let the beat play, and he had words going. Like, he has, he, he was flowing through the whole, through the whole song. Like, he didn't pause or anything. Like, he knew what he wanted to say on the track before recording it and then putting it out but he's been in the game for a while so i see that that's what i meant by he didn't have words it's like one he was off beat two it was like he it was like he would say a few words and then pause as if he didn't know what he was going to say next <clears throat> No, let me let me let me make this right. One, he was off beat. Two, when I think of a flow, I think of MGK's "What's Poppin'" freestyle. Like, even even what you heard, there was a time in here when he was speaking fast, but it was still off beat. So him being off beat, and there might have been a two second pause in the song. That's what made me say he did not have words, which I should have just said he, he's a little off beat. And not only that, there's pauses in the song, because, again, when I hear a song. And what I've been hearing for. My entire life, even up to this point. <clears throat> the beat will play and the person that's rapping is saying words the entire the, the entire time the beat is on and he's on beat with this song right here he was off beat and there wasn't lines there wasn't words consistently throughout the whole song throughout the whole beat while the whole like the whole two minutes and some change like there was pauses with it was like two three second pauses but the way i said it it sounded crazy now, I'm going to go ahead and go to the diss. And then I'll have more to say after the diss. But he was off beat and the words wasn't consistent. Meaning he didn't have lines back to back to to say like there was pauses and stuff in it. So that's what I meant when I said he didn't have words. Hopefully I understand that because I really... 
All right, why isn't it? You know what? I'll just back out like this. <clears throat> so now that we're out of that, I'm going to react to Ice Plano. Um, his song, his diss, one of his diss songs called I Hate Plano. Now, again, I'm going to go in assuming that this entire diss track is about me and me only. Because, <clears throat> again, his homie said he had a diss track for me. I immediately thought is the whole diss track about me and me only. So we're going to listen to this one and then listen to um um pull up some which is the other diss where I think I think the pull up some diss is where that clip I just showed you is in the track is in the track. But we're going to listen to this right now so let's watch. Hey, can you miss Key said fuck everybody in the industry? Yeah, fuck all the ops from school and fuck all the ops from the other on the other side. Miski say fuck everybody in the industry. Yeah, fuck all of them to be dissing me and talking shit at school. They ain't anger really me. Yeah, y'all thought I was not gonna say shit until I really am. Yeah, I'll bitch I'll pop you and your motherfucking face. Yeah, I will fuck you in your and your better bring me. Yeah, fuck everybody in the industry. Yeah, fuck all the ops from the industry. Yeah, fuck all the ops and fuck all the kids from school. And the other side in the industry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. At lunch, I was singing 21 and 21. And this bitch named DeAndre told me to shut the fuck up at lunch. Bitch, you shut the fuck up. Look at your fucking age and your fucking grade is six. Yeah, you're a little bitch. I got, I got go, go beat you ass soon. I'm tired of you fucking ass. Be making faces at me. Yeah, you be making them. Yeah, you ugly as fuck. You need to fix your pimples. Two and a man. Yeah, embarrassed as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're in the sixth grade at 13 years old. That's embarrassing as fuck. They can be like, hey. <laughs> Yo, damn. Not only did he call a girl's name out, she was. 13 in the sixth grade jesus christ if i was if i don't if i recall i was 13 in the eighth grade damn okay so at this point so far i have not heard anything about me yet not saying that it's not coming but maybe it's later on in the song where he disses me but again we'll see I assume that this whole diss track was a reference to me and me only. So he's dissing people in the industry, his ops, and people at that he encountered problems with in school. I'm assuming only girls, but it could be a few guys, but he's named one girl so far and how she was six how how she was thirteen in the sixth grade. Damn, that's crazy. Mm 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 mm. Moving on. Greatest at 13 years old. Yeah, that's really embarrassing. You be embarrassed. <laughs> that Kayla B girl. Bitch. Yeah, yeah. Her name is Kayla. Yeah, I'm not talking about Vaughn's sister. Yeah, fuck that bitch. She be over here acting brave. Yeah, she. that's why I was going to beat her ass at the fucking recess. Until you, she snitch on me to the fucking, fucking teachers like a fucking rat ass. Rat ass bitch. Yeah, you over here being a fucking snitch. Because you scared of me, bitch. I'm go. I want to fight you so bad. Yeah, want to act tough. Yeah. You was you look you look ugly as fuck. You look like a fucking turtle. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you and your dead ass. Fat. You hear how he's off beat a little bit. Now again, <clears throat> I said it at the beginning of this video. That's what I should have said. In the beginning, I should have just said it straight like that. Like he was off beat, and the lines weren't weren't consistent. As if, as compared to a, as compared to MGK's "What's Poppin'" freestyle, or Joyner Lucas's "Look Alive" freestyle, like how the lines were very consistent, and even in the moment of them speeding up, 
their flow in the song, they still stayed on beat. Family members too, yeah, that's where you live in Yellow House, you got a family, yeah, smoking on your dead family members, fuck you and your, and fuck you and your friends too, yeah, and I'm bringing them with you, sipping up a little pile, yeah, I'm gonna put a bring you, I'm gonna about to pop your ass, and you ain't gonna like it, yeah, fuck that girl too, the main one that started it, all this shit I'm going through, yeah, Maddie, yeah, Madison, yeah, yeah, fuck you too, yeah, I ain't gonna fuck with you, bitch, you a little fuck, you be weird as fuck, yelling on my, my rap name at the fucking hallways yeah you over here singing my lyrics to it both my manager's lyrics my shout out to glow but ball the ball and uh, man yeah, yeah yeah over here singing our fucking lyrics bitch man yeah you're the main op and over here starting the shit i want to beat your ass too i will pop your ass into the mouth yeah it's a squeak game toast a cake it rolled up but i want to told us that monkey packy fold up he got he literally got eggs from his own brother little gay after he Damn. Damn. He, he laying it all out on the line. Jesus Christ. Yo. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And he said one girl <clears throat> was singing his singing his lines at one point and now she's hating. And then some dude named Mike got AIDS. For, I'm going to go back. I don't want to misinterpret anything Hold up, but I wanna told us that monkey packy fold up he got he literally got AIDS from his own brother Lil Gay after he got had sex with motherfucking James Charles he was over here sucking he said a dude got AIDS from his brother sweet home Ala sweet sweet home Alabama aka incest Hmm. Wow. And he's naming these people directly. So this is a clear message. Now, th th this is a clear message. He he like whatever he's saying, he's putting names. Like he's naming names and putting business out. I will say this. I'm not going to say that is going to happen 100%, but be aware that you say stuff like this on a diss track, some people just might come for you. You don't know if they're listening, but I get it. It's a diss track. Maybe you was holding all of this in and I don't know if I did it to made you want to like go back and this everybody from school the people in the industry or i don't know you know how okay you know how you hold stuff in for so long like everything you wanted to say to a certain person at a certain point in life and you just held it in but then somebody can say something to you or do something to you to just like that one thing can tick you off and all the feelings that you held in comes out. I think I'm getting so far, so far. That's what I'm getting in this diss track. It's like he held that in for a while. And I don't know if I did it. If I was the last straw to be like, you know what? I'm just going to lay all of this out on the diss track and diss everybody that has something bad or negative to say about me and I held it in. Maybe that this this that's the type of vibe I'm getting with this diss track right here. And still have yet to hear. Because, again, I thought this whole thing was just strictly about me. But there's other people that he wants to address, so he's going to address him. Let's keep going. This dick and I made a toast yeah, 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 fuck Lil Gay and fuck Baby Scar, fuck Young Chopper Boy and fuck Lil Youngin. Yeah, all these motherfuckers, eh, all these motherfuckers keep on talking shit, eh, hey, hey, fuck Lil Gay and fuck Baby Scar, yeah, that's why Lil Gay was too pussy, yeah. 
Yeah, that's why baby scar got shot five times. Yeah, that's what Lil Gay keep on dissing cause he's mad as fuck. Because <laughs> Lil Gay didn't shut up my hotel. Because, and I dropped my location too. Because, because he was over here uh, busy too. Sucking too much dick out in his mouth. Yeah, you faggot. Beat your ass very badly. Yeah, uh, 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 uh. My dad called a CPS on me. I wanted to say this at the beginning when he was talking about the girls and how he wanted to beat them up. It's a good thing you didn't, Ice Plano, because if you did, the cops would have to come and get you. And they would probably, you, no, I wouldn't say the cops. I wouldn't say the cops, but it's a good thing. You, let's just say it's a good thing you didn't put hands on them because it would have been, it probably would have been double the trouble for you. So I'll give you props for not putting hands on those girls. Me because I left her fat ass sister daughter with Jamalette, you faggot. I'm smoking on her dead family members, smoking on Manly, smoking on my dad's grandpa. Smoke. I'm gonna go and this is this is also what I mean when I said he didn't have any words. Like, you see how he let me go back, I'm gonna play it and go back a few seconds. Uh, 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 uh. My dad called a CPS on me Cause I left her fat ass sister daughter With Jamalet You faggot And I'm smoking on her that, That's what I mean Like Like Had he Like It's like there was a pause there It's almost like he was trying to think of what to say Instead of already having it ready, like rehearsing it before putting it out. But that's what I mean. That That's kind of what I mean when I say he didn't have words on top of it being a little offbeat. It's, it, you just heard it. It's like it's, a, it's like a slight pause. And it's like he didn't know what to say after. So he just he just did something to fill in until he was ready to say something else. Now, that's what I mean by not having consistent lines throughout the whole throughout the whole song. If you was to give this to Joyner Lucas, the lines would be consistent and he would stay on beat no matter if he slowed down the flow, no matter if he sped up the flow, it would still be on beat. This is what I meant when I said he didn't have words. He was saying a few words. Yes, he was saying words, but he didn't have any ready. So let's say like that pause. It, it kind of he, he had to kind of think of something on the spot instead of rehearsing it and having it ready. That's what I mean by uh, never mind. I'm just go ahead and play it. Her dead family members smoking on Manly, smoking on my dad's grandpa, smoking on Daniel, smoking on these motherfuckers. Yeah, I ain't playing either. I'm playing, I'm playing. Yeah, all these motherfuckers keep on trying me. Fuck the industry. Fuck, fuck her, her bitches. A friend who making false rumors. Yeah, saying blah 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 shit. That shit is fucking false. Over here saying that dumb shit. Over here saying dumb shit. Fuck off. Yeah, fuck my dear too for being friendly with the ops. Yeah, over here friendly the ops. And a motherfucking bitch. Yeah, yeah, fuck Isaiah. Fuck John John Boy. Yeah, blah blah. In the industry, women go after me and including the kids from school. Yeah, my yeah, fuck them all, fuck them all. Yeah, only you talking shit about me. Overthinking that I'm not gonna do shit. Yeah, fuck TTBK, fuck them. Yeah, fuck him too. He be over here talking shit, talking shit on his mouth. Yeah, mm mm, fuck TTBK, over here complete with me. Fuck Brenda too. Been Hey, yeah, kind of trying to complete saying I'm uh, fucking trash. Uh, um, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, low boy. That, my guy, the dude, the, the person that said that you was trash, 
I would say that's hating you. What I said, even though it was said weird as fuck, I don't hate you. I don't know you. I don't know you like that to even want to even think about hating you. So the fact that it's insane, I would I would never say a person is trash. You know what? Let me repeat that. I would never I wouldn't because who am I to say that a person is trash? I like what what I was saying, I wasn't saying that he's trash at rapping. I wasn't saying that. I'm just saying like the lines in the song, like the amount of line like if this was sixteen bars, some of the bars would be skipped over. It would be inconsistent. This inconsistency throughout this whole not throughout this whole but from what we heard so far. Is inconsistent with the lines, bro. Like I said, if Joyner Lucas had this beat, there will be lines, bars throughout this entire beat, non-stop. Uzi over here, uh, hanging out with the ops, little gay, yeah. PG K, PG, yeah, fuck PG, little girl, fuck PG bands, and fuck all the PG crew. Yeah, uh, yeah, PG K, PG K, and GDK on me. Yeah, fuck that YouTube streamer, the second person that reacted to me, I'm not talking about e -Day. Yeah, he over here saying I not say words, bitch. I am saying words, and he reacted to the wrong video that I got auto to. Fuck that YouTuber, he can go say whatever in his mouth, but it ain't go happen. Fuck Sophia. Okay. Ice Plano, if you wanted to know what my name is, my name on YouTube is Dante Brown. In fact, I'm going to come back to this. I'm going to go to my intro and play it really quick so you can see that my name is in the intro. Drip. Subscribers recommended with Dante Brown. Subscribers recommended is the name of the channel. Me, the person that started the channel, my YouTube name is Dante Brown. So I just wanted to put that out there for him. And I mean, people that subscribe to me, you now not not the people that are subscribed to me. Ice Plano. I want you to look at this. My name is right here in red. Dante Brown. Subscribers recommended is not my name. That's the name of the channel. Now, let's go back to this disc record. I'm going to play the rest. But I wouldn't say that that what he said about me, well, he referencing me was a diss to me. But he, he, he did say his homeboy and him did say that he that they dissed me. But. The name, I mean, you could at least ask for my name. That way you can say my name in the diss record. But I'm going to go ahead and play it to the end and then I'm going to play pull up some. After this, too, it's fuck all Kayla and DeAndres and Madison, all their friends, too. Yeah, Sophia cut me off because one of Kayla homegirls told me to cut, to cut me off. She lied to me something, but is she over here hanging out with the ops already after she cut me off? Okay, got the lost his homeboy, Key Breezy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he got, he was so dumb for going out of duck. Damn, I don't see about it. Damn, I don't give a fuck. Damn, I don't want to see Christian bands jump out the truck. Little duck, what's it wrong for the innocent? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a creep ass dude in a way. I'm a thug, yeah, I'm an industry. The industry is going after me. But I did it, I'm, it was not my fault that it really happened out of nowhere. Yeah, fuck the industry. Hey, it's me, I was playing on this shit, yeah. Yeah, over here talk shit about me. 
for no reason. I didn't do shit to y'all. Y'all made when I started it. Yeah, fuck all the ops for school. Two, yeah, fuck Kelvin and then fuck. Fuck all the fuck Isaiah, fuck John John, fuck Keller and fuck Daniel and DeAndre and Paris and Madison. Y'all some whole bitches. And Sophia too. Yeah, it's 4PK, baby. I don't even give a fuck about you. Yeah, Lil Gay too. Yeah, baby Scar and TTBK. Keep breezy. And, and Young Chopper Boy and Slick Rich. Yeah, you slimy. Yeah, fuck all of y'all. And fuck Mikey Pack too. And fuck my dad's grandpa. He's smoking on his grave. And Melly. And, and Daniel too. And Melly too. Yeah, smoking on Melly the most. Yeah, I fucking hate y'all so much. Believe that. Yeah. And Mitski say fuck everybody in the fucking industry. Yeah, tell them I, I'm not gonna fuck with them again. I'm not even scared of them. Fuck all the ops from from school and in the industry. Yeah, fuck all of them. They can they can be sad all they want. I say I'm never gonna fuck with them. Right now you can get a hundred hit loot. All right, <clears throat> that was Ice Plano's "I Hate Plano." This is a diss track to. All the ops and the people from school and me. I, well, I was going to say, I don't hate you, but I'm not going to say he said, fuck me, because it didn't sound like he said that, but Oh, addressing the, um, that's what I meant to talk about. He said his manager put out the wrong video song. Here's my one question. As a person looking at it from the outside in, you couldn't, why didn't you just pull your manager to the side and have a quick convo like, yo, bro, we need to look over this content. Because I feel like we're going to put out the wrong stuff and then we're going to have to do double the work to get the right content out. <sighs> I'm not even mad at this diss, honestly. I'm not. It's just, it, to me, it's like a regular song that I react to. But, again, I I can't I can't say anything about what your what what your manager what you say your manager did but if you if you know that it's the wrong video song or whatever just have a sit down with your manager before the song even comes out before the video even comes out yo we need to review this before anything goes out that way we can eliminate going on like wasting time going on youtube taking stuff down just to put the right content out and i'll go ahead and say this too in the future you might have more you i'll go ahead and say this right now you might have more diss tracks to write in the near future ice plano because there's gonna be other people that you might want them to listen to your music and they might say something you may not like. So be prepared to write a l way more diss tracks in the future, bro. Now we're going to go ahead and listen to Pull Up Some by him. Uh, I can close this out because there's no reason for that to be there. Let's see if I can actually, oh, there it is. Okay, now. I will say this. Ah, yes. Here we go. This is Pull Up Some by Ice Plano. Now, I didn't hear, well, I just heard a little bit of myself in here. So this is the song where that clip that I played you in the beginning is in so we're gonna we're gonna listen to this here we go i will say this again the beat is fire but bro won't lie it really was i was nodding my head to, that beat was fire 
It was. I'm sorry. You said a different flow? Oh, a new flow. Okay. Just compared to the last song I did, the flow in that video that I reacted to of him and this one, to me, are the same. Yeah. Again, he only said a few words, but he... Yeah. Again, I'll, I'll just say it again. What I meant to say was, and I probably already said this in the beginning of the video, but just to reiterate for those that don't know what's going on. Yes, he's saying words, but the lines in the song were inconsistent throughout the whole beat. Like, the beat is playing, but there's times where you have to pause to think of something. When I, when you, it to me is like, did you rehearse this? You should have rehearsed it, if anything, prior to putting it out. Because I'm pretty sure, like, you would, you would have to be, like, you would have to be in the game so long that you'll be able to, you'll be able to, like, piece words together, piece words together without even writing. But I don't know if you're, again, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I would, I would say as starting, starting out is going to be tough, but I'm just saying that the lines in the song, like the amount of lines in the song were is inconsistent again, like a rapper, like Joyner Lucas, when he did the look alive, not only did he have bars throughout the whole time the beat was playing, he was also changing his flow and being consistent with the lines and staying on beat. Because there's times in these songs where you're off beat, bro. And people will probably run this back and hear it themselves. Again, I'm not hating on you. I don't have nothing against you. That was just me saying something that probably threw people off. Had I explained it right the first time, that wouldn't have happened. But it's on record. I think my vocals would be nice on a beat, by the way. This is my first time hearing actual vocals on a on a beat. And sounds pretty fire. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. But we're going to go ahead and get into this. He was harmonizing some of the song. He was actually saying words. But... I don't know, man. Because I don't like being mean, but I got to be honest. When I hear, like, the comment said I have a new flow. When I hear the word flow, I think of... Three, turn me on. Hey, it's me, King of Mesquite. <laughs> fuck that guy who hating on me. Like, that fuck that YouTuber hating on me. Like... Oh, so he just confirmed that I was hating on him, a.k.a. I'm one of his haters. But in, at the end of this, I'm going to play devil's advocate. And I know people would normally get mad and be like, I'm, I'm not saying that I'm going to do this, but I know normally people, when they hear that, they would get really aggressive and be like, what the hell am I hating on you for? You ain't shit. You ain't nothing. I'm not going to do that. You a human just like me. I'm going to keep it calm. But now it's confirmed that you said that I am a hater, that I'm hating on you. So instead of me blowing up and getting all outrageous and, 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 and losing my shit to the fact that you called me a hater, I'm just going to play devil's advocate. At the end of this, he did. He did. Boom, boom. Uh. I was waiting for the lines that hold three seconds from 110. I think it's from 110 to 113, unless this is the intro. 
here and I met me some You gon' say some, you gon' say some back, bitch, I pull up some Yeah, Mikey got step, you ain't none that shit You ain't doing shit in my mind, fat man Yeah, fuck all the arts in the motherfuck industry Yeah, fuck that YouTuber, be talking shit, yeah Yeah, fuck that YouTuber, say he I don't got no words Bitch, you react to the drum and roll video, bitch, you retarded Yeah, fuck that YouTuber, he's a my dick I'm on your dick? First off, I don't roll that way, bro. 100% heterosexual over here. What do you mean? Two, if I was on your dick, I would have asked you if I could react to one of your songs. But you asked me to react to one of your songs. So, bro, I'm not on your penis, bro. I'm really not. But I got a surprise for you at the end. Don't worry. We'll 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 end this. This will be a this won't be a hyper aggressive ending. This will be a calm one. YouTuber, yeah, yeah, fuck that YouTuber, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck that YouTuber, yeah, in the beat sticks, yeah, yeah, I'm smoking on Mikey, I'm smoking on Millie, I'm smoking on, yeah, huh, smoking on, yeah, I'm smoking on Daniel, too, yeah, bitch, you eh, and I pull up some, I will pull up with your Draco and I shoot your yeah, helps, yeah, oh, fuck you up, and I pull up some, yeah, fuck Kayla, fuck DeAndre, fuck Madison, too, yeah, fuck that YouTuber, cool streamer, that be a talk shit. I'm not talking about E Day. E Day's a real dude. He's a best dude. Bitch. I'm not talking about him. He's a real dude. Yeah, fuck that YouTuber. Again, that YouTuber, when he says that YouTuber, he's talking about me, Dante Brown. He been saying, I don't got no words. Bitch, I got words, bitch. In my motherfucking mind. Yeah, fuck that. Fuck that YouTuber. Yeah, saying my beat is fire and get no words in the motherfucking shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, bitch, eat it, got, got more feedback in you, bitch Yeah, in my motherfucking sit, yeah Yeah, fuck you, and your people Yeah, fuck, yeah, fuck you Yeah, in the motherfuckers up Yeah, fuck you, and, and your motherfuckers up I will beat you, and, and then the motherfuckers up Shout out to 4PK people in the messes up Yeah, fuck that YouTuber be talking shit in this motherfucking mouth See, no, no, got no words Bitch, I got fucking words Yeah, fuck you, and your people I'm going to reference a diss track and I want y'all to listen out for it. I'm going to say two lines very similarly to what the person who was dissing the other artist said is going to be very similar. But if you can pick out the diss track that I'm referencing when I say these two lines, I'll let you know when I say them. If I'm going to look in the comments, just leave it in the comments. And if you get it right, you will see, yes, sir, in all caps with extra exclamation points. So here's the two lines. How dare you bring my family into your verses? I want all of the curses. If you know what this, those two lines are originally from. Not exactly, but I just changed a few words around. But if you know the disc that I'm referencing, leave it down in the comments. If you get it right, you will see a yes, sir, in all caps, with an exclamation, with infinite number of exclamation points. Again, the lines are, how dare you bring my family in your verses? I want all of the curses. Damn, blah, blah, say again, he only said a few words, bitch, he is being me, bitch, I will respond back, bitch, um, but no, big ass motherfucking forehead, bitch, yeah, I, I'm fucking creeped out in your motherfucking camera roll, yeah, and a motherfucking bitch, yeah, and my motherfucking... Yo, I've, I've had a big forehead since I was a baby. I mean, I could, I'll, I'll like go to my Facebook page and pull up a picture of me as a baby. And then a picture of me as a three-year-old. This big forehead was always here. And I embrace that. My nose is kind of big too. 
and so are my lips. But yeah. Yep. My forehead is huge and I'm proud of it because it's a part of me. I'm not ashamed. My forehead can be as big as planet Earth. I won't care. That that that's that's over that that's that's over exaggerating. But all I'm saying all in all is I'm proud to have a big forehead. I don't care. Anyway. All right, that was pull up some. Now, I did mention earlier in the video that I was going to play devil's advocate because he called me a hater. Now, what do you normally do when you know you have a hater? In my mind, you try to stay away from them and just live your life. So, I want to do something that will probably help you stay away from me. And that's mentioning other YouTubers. Because I did say to him in the comments, there's other YouTubers that you can have react to your music. You don't have to worry about my 523 subscriber channel when there's other YouTubers with billion, with millions and millions of v subscribers, millions. And basically they have the, um, they're, they're really eating in these YouTube streets. And I wouldn't know I wouldn't normally say that type of wording. I'll just say they have a massive following, but they are really eating in these YouTube streets. I'll name two on video and then include those two in a com. Uh, all right. I'm going to name two YouTubers and then include these two YouTubers in a list of YouTubers that you can go to under one of your comments, Ice Plano. That way, you won't have to worry about referring back to this video. So the two YouTubers that I'm going to mention are one, No Life Shack, and two, The Third Earnest. Now, those two YouTuber channels will be listed along with some others. I think there might be a total of four or five that I could list for you under one of your comments, Ice Plano. That way you won't have to refer back to the video. I'm 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 not I'm not I, I didn't feel like I wasn't upset about this diss track. It to me it was just again me confusing people. Not that I do it on purpose. It's just me confusing people with what I say. When I could have just said he some sometimes he's a little off beat and the lines not the the context of the lines but the number of lines throughout the whole song is inconsistent like he had to think of something on the spot instead of rehearsing it would have been better to rehearse this or like like you'll see on videos on YouTube of rappers freestyling and they have it written down not that they don't know what they're saying but they don't want to forget it and they want to make sure that they get certain lines out because in their head it's hot and they want the people to hear it so even if you have to write it on paper just to record it on the beat then just just do that And try to stay, like, because, again, I won't lie, throughout some of the songs I've reacted to and these diss tracks, you were a little off beat with some of your lines. But, 
again, I'm going to help you get rid of me by recommending other YouTubers. And that's all I have to say on these diss tracks. Thank you for putting my vocals in it. That sounded so fire. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to go to the second video of the week. And we are back to the regularly scheduled program. The way, the way I've been doing it. But this, this was, this was, this was good to hear. And not only that, it, I, cause I was curious when they said that he'd made a diss track. I was like, really? Okay, let's hear it. I, I wouldn't say this is a diss, but it is a diss. Cause he's calling me out, although he doesn't know, although he didn't know what my name is, but I wouldn't take it as a diss. But yes, I do have the, I do have a problem of saying things that may confuse the viewers at home. Not that I purposely do it, but it just happens. I embrace it. So with that said, I'm going to leave it here. I will see you guys in the second video. Until then, Dante Brown is out look at my life look at everything i got it's nice it's crazy how god blessed me twice i still can't feel anything but ice damn i'm a demon by heart that was my part from start